strange start for Xerxes but questions over Sancho's future there was a pleasing symmetry for Manchester United in Joshua Xerxes scoring a late winner on his Premier League debut against Fulham at Old Trafford. Twenty-three years earlier, another Dutch forward did the same thing for United against the same opponents. Xerxes may not get close, close to Ruud van Nistelrooy's 150 goals in five seasons for the club, but given his fellow countrymen has returned to United as manager Eric Ten Hag's coaching assistant, there was shared delight in his smartly taken 87th-minute effort. It doesn't matter if he is Dutch or English or Russian or South American, said Ten Hag. It is Man United. He is a Man United player and it is very good for a striker to come in and score his first goal. Ten Hag referenced the struggles of Rasmus Hodgland, his big-money striking purchase last season, who was 15 games into his Premier League career before he finally found the net against Aston Villa on Boxing Day. Remember last season when Rasmus scored a first goal against Brighton in his second game on September 16th? and we wait on the halfway line for two minutes before VR decided the ball was over the goal line before the cross. It was very frustrating. On such fine margins can major moments turn. Xerxes' goal sent the vast majority of a capacity crowd into raptures. The noise did justice to the build-up the £36.5 million signing from Italian side Bologna had been given. I've been told, scoring at the Stratford end, it's one of the best feelings at Man United, he said. I'm so thankful and blessed I could experience it in my first game. It's an amazing feeling. It's been amazing. It's been a dream, actually. Man United look like a serious club again. The result also allowed for a more reflective assessment from pundits who, as former United captains, seem to have spent so long being critical of their old club. Gary Neville was delighted at the overall sense of control and impetus at the club, which comes from the presence of a new chief executive in Omar Barada and sporting director in Dan Ashworth. Man United need to be a serious football club and it looks at least like that is happening. He said, The prices being paid for players seem to be better. It was embarrassing in large parts of last season and pathetic in certain games. Where they are now is a strong position. I feel more optimistic. Xerxes' display included a nonchalant celebration that matched the way in which he took the goal, sweeping Alejandro Garnacho's right-wing cross into the bottom corner with the minimum of fuss. It was a brilliant finish, said Roy Keane. He was neat and tidy in the link-up. United need to punish teams more but they were a threat and to score on your debut is huge. There was complication around Xerxes in the summer. Ten Hag revealed the 23-year-old ended last season with an injury which was going to rule him out of Euro 2024 only for further injuries to the Dutch squad to mean he was picked by Ronald Koeman anyway. It meant Xerxes had an extended break off the back of not being fit, meaning he had to be managed carefully when he did report for pre-season training, which is why he was on the bench throughout the Community Shield defeat by Manchester City at Wembley. We had to look at every individual, and he had to build up some deficits, said Ten Hag. He has some attributes we didn't have and straight away he showed it. He is very good in his linking up combinations but he has to arrive in the box to score goals. That is what he did today. I preferred other players on the bench. There is now less than two weeks before the transfer window closes and United are still assessing their options. Midfield continues to be an area they are looking at, with Burnley's Sander Berga among the potential buys, but the sense remains much will depend on how much the club can generate. Scotland international Scott McTominay is one of their saleable assets, although it is not clear the Preston-born player wants to leave. Napoli are thought to be interested, others are sniffing round and after Fulham had a bid turned down for the 27-year-old, their fans cheekily sang he wants to sign for Fulham when McTominay was introduced in the second half. And then there is Jaden Sancho, who Ten had confirmed had simply been overlooked for the opening encounter, stating he could have been involved despite not fully recovering from an ear infection. Chelsea are the latest club to be linked with Sancho, who spent the second half of last season on loan at Borussia Dortmund after his major fallout with Ten Hag. This will be a season of survival of the fittest but I can only put 20 players in the squad, said Ten Hag. In the week Jaden had an ear infection and was not 100% fit. 
He could play but I make choices and prefer other players on the bench. But that can change and will change this season. Sometimes it is frustrating for the player but it is about the team and the club. 